I bought it. What's up machine freaks? I'm feeling extremely excited today. I hope you guys are excited as well because you woke up this morning and you got to live this day and watch this video. I just have to say, the last time I felt this excited, it was because I bought my first drift car. That kids is foreshadowing. A little hint for the future. See, not only do we have fun at 3D Machines, we also learn a little bit day by day. It's like going to school. It's like going to cool school. Keep it at Froggy Fresh and Fly. I just wanted to remind you guys, Brap Life sweatshirts and hoodies and t-shirts and everything else are available. The link is in the description. I just got my red one in today. Machine Freak. And then the front says Brap Life. They make amazing Christmas presents. Put one on your Christmas list today. And if you know a fellow Machine Freak, hey, hook them up with a nice hoodie. They smell new. Back to the video. I am going to buy something. And you guys probably already know because the tag picture and all that stuff, it gives it away. But at the same time, it, it invites you to come over and watch the video. That's the science behind the tag pictures. But anyways, yes, I'm going to buy that snowmobile that's probably the tag picture. If I buy the snowmobile. If I don't buy the snowmobile, then I don't know what the tag picture will be. But one thing's for sure, the lake is still going to be warm. We, we have been blessed with some beautiful weather lately. Absolutely beautiful weather. Warm, the lake's gonna stay warm. That means it's gonna take a little longer for it to freeze. And what that means is my area, our area, Buffalo's area, will get a lot of snow once the weather gets very cold. Now, in order to buy a snowmobile and ride a snowmobile, you need to have snow. I guess you don't need any snow to buy it. I mean, there's no snow on the ground right now. But to ride it, you need snow. You don't need snow, but you, you want snow. People drag sleds in the grass all the time. My mom doesn't know that I have this big stack of wood. Yes, I do live with my mother. I'm only 22 years old. If you moved out before you were 22, good for you. In your opinion, that was a good decision. Or maybe not a good decision. My decision is, I'm staying at home for a little longer. I like helping my mom out with the house. And the yard. My pile is going to hell very quickly. To be completely honest, I'm putting this wood over here so my mother doesn't see it. Because Seth told me he could hook me up with some wood. I told my mother about it. She said, no, we don't need any more crap around here. I do have a lot of crap. But this is like money in the bank, baby. Sorry, mom, if you see this. She was always much more understandable about my junk than my father. My father disliked it, but now I think he's realizing, you know, junk isn't a bad thing. He's got some stuff laying around his house now. Junk's awesome. Junk is the bee's knees. I hope I don't get tetanus. This is where we have a minor problem. My truck only weighs 6,000 pounds. The grass is extremely smushy. That's a loud truck. I don't want to make a muddy mess of my yard, so I'm not going to drive this thing. I have to somehow bring the trailer out from the side of the house and somewhere where I can hook it up to my truck. Now they make this nice little tandy dandy tool that has wheels and you know, you can just pull it like a dolly. That actually might be what it's called, trailer dolly. But I don't own one of those things because I've never had a use for it. Now it's an aluminum trailer. Aluminum weighs less than steel. The only problem is, is I made that thing extremely strong, extremely strong, it's, it's very heavy. I put two layers of plywood for the deck, pressure treated plywood. Then we put like six coats of paint on it. Is this Jake the toilet snake? Yes it is. How are we doing buddy? Well I'm glad you called and, and tried to make it. Stay in school kids, it's very important. A steel trailer of that size is probably right under a thousand pounds, maybe if not less. You know, the ones you buy from Lowe's or Home Depot or Tractor Supply. The only difference between mine and theirs is mine won't rust. Mine is like lifetime. That's why I built it that way. I did build that trailer. everything on this trailer including the axle I didn't even buy the axle I built it so besides the tires the rims and like the hardware everything else I built it's a thousand pounds it's pretty heavy I mean right now it's at its balancing point so it's not that hard to lift up it's still, it's still got some pretty good tongue weight 
which means the front end weighs more than the back end because you want some push down on the hitch. Otherwise, well, the trailer flipping up and, and saying goodbye to your load. Well, the grass is mushy and it's harder to pull the trailer. I can do it. But let's not be cavemen about this. It's getting close to leaving time. I better warm up the Duramax. A little inside the truck, a little outside the truck. Nice little mixture. I'm thinking this little handy dandy guy could help me out. Why work harder when you can work smarter? Of course, every time I use this thing, it needs air in the tires, but that's nothing an air compressor can't fix. Let's try it. worked and it actually works quite well because that edge catches that and allows me to drag it I think we're locked and loaded. I think we're ready to buy a sled. I got so excited I forgot to shut my door. Seth just texted me a little bit ago and he said stay off of Route 5 because Bethlehem Steel is on fire as we speak. And I'm probably 25 miles away from it. And as you can see, in the distance, all that smoke. Holy smokes. See, this is this is Buffalo history. I'm I'm close to it. I want to see it. Wow! I just got off the throughway. We're a little closer. I thought this day was going to be exciting because I was buying a new sled, but now I'm going to buy a new sled and watch some. Holy smoke! This road can lead to Seth's house. I could go down that way and get closer to the building, but I don't want to get in anybody's way. These guys are doing the best that they can to make sure everybody can get in and out safely. And there's no need for me to go through with a truck and trailer. Seth lives pretty close to there. He's probably going to send me some pictures. Today, I'm that guy that takes up like 200 parking spots. Sorry, I have a trailer. I don't know what else to do. I just got something to eat. I'm running ahead of schedule by a lot. I'm actually right across the street from the Buffalo Airport. This is the first time eating around here without having to go on a plane right afterwards. I'm just checking my GPS. It says we'll arrive at 11.34. Last night, that's so weird. It said it would take like an hour and 40 minutes and now it's only taking me 50 minutes. Have you guys ever dealt with stuff like that? You Google it or whatever you do, you map quest it, whatever they do now, whatever you guys do nowadays. Is the answer ever off? Because mine usually is never off. And it was like 40 minutes off. I better retract the address. Okay, now it says I'll be there at 11.36. The guy wants me to be there at 12. It's the correct address. Not only was Google off, but now my phone was off. I don't know what kind of app this is, but the it's, it's the Apple Maps app, I guess. And for some reason it had me go right 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 instead of just making a left you know for being smartphones they can be extremely stupid but hey they're smarter than me they know how to get to the place i don't
I check out the slot. The guy's going inside to get the registration. I got my money all counted. Wah. I bought it. He's gonna back it up. And we're gonna load it right onto this one. that guy's place a little early I actually had to wait so while I was waiting I got the trailer ready I got the ramps off just in case I had to use them but I thought we would we would load it the way we just did and it worked very well very well but now I have a skidoo I had an apex last year we're moving to a skidoo going from four stroke going to two stroke two joker I know a lot of you guys like two strokes a lot of you guys like four strokes we tried the four stroke now we're trying the two stroke all years prior I always had a two stroke I always had a skidoo two stroke but it was a 600. This is an eight. 800 TCs. I just made it to Seth's place. You know, it's been like an hour and a half since I saw those those that smoke, and it's still smoking. I can I could see it from the throughway. Crazy. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. Good. Another day in paradise. Another day in paradise. Yeah. That's good. What do you think of my new purchase? Need some stickers. Need some stickers? Yeah. Add some more power. It is kind of plain, isn't it? There's a, a nice chunk right here missing. He drew a little arrow for me, so that was nice of him. Um, I, I put a bungee cord on here so it wouldn't, you know, open up because it's what backwards. Do you with that thing? I don't know. I think it was what I understood. It was his woman's, so his woman had a nice machine. I was worried about this though too, blowing away, going you know at 70 miles an hour, but that actually rotates. <laughs> That's hilarious. Looks way faster. Uh, it's 7,500. Two strokes. Two strokes. You can rebuild them cheap. So, if anything does happen, he said he, he rebuilt it two two thousand miles ago. We'll see. We'll see, right? It's nice. It looks nice. Thank you. I'd rock it. So, uh, you saw? Did you see this this building burn down? Yeah, it was over there this morning. It's still burning. I think so. I left like two hours ago. I was up. I was up on the throughway, and I could still see smoke. Guess I'll start it. Uh. I'm gonna guess it's a metal fire or something. No, it's or electricity. Electrical. Well, actually, it's a. Somebody dropped a hot light bulb into a dumpster with cardboard in it. They were changing light bulbs, and one of them were hot. And when they dumped it into the dumpster, it caught the dumpster on fire. Really? So, so cardboard's melting the steel as we speak. It well, must have been a lot of cardboard. I just left Seth's place. Now I gotta hop on the throughway and figure out what I'm going to do with this sled because I have absolutely no room for this thing at all. Kyle D said if I bought one that we would find room somewhere. So I'm listening to his advice. Let's just say I hope it works out. You guys, we made it home safely. I'm excited. And I just can't hide it. I'll never lose control though. So I have two problems right now. One, this thing really ate up my trailer with the studs. Oh man, ate it up up there too. Son of a gun, man. Come on, you can't respect that. Oh, he did a good job greasing. Unless that's a leak out of the boot right there. Oh, yep, that boot's gotta be replaced. I only looked on this side, I didn't look on this side. Yeah, this one's good. Taking paint off the trailer isn't a huge deal. The big deal is, where do I put it? I am making my final decision about what I'm going to do with the snowmobile right now. I'm just gonna back it into the driveway for now. I can't get to it today anyways. Does it irritate anyone else that I don't have the room or the time to work on this thing today? Who likes the sled? Who looks forward to snowmobile season? I know I sure do. Leave your comment in the comment section below. 3D Machines out. Until tomorrow, keep it machine freaky.